Hello everyone, I am Prashant Garmela and today I'll be doing a case study on electric vehicles. So going forward, these are the contents of today's presentation. So I'll start with the background on how the electric vehicle industry stands today and from where it comes from. And I'll be doing thorough study on the electric vehicle industry based on the system engineering principles. Uh, starting with the concept development stage, there are three phases involved in the concept development stage. They are the needs analysis, the concept exploration, and the concept definition. Then we'll move ahead to the engineering development stage, which has three phases, which are the advanced development phase, the engineering design phase and the integration and evaluation phase. Moving forth, we'll study the last stage in systems engineering and that is the post-development stage, which consists of two phases, the production phase and the operation and support phase. In the end, we'll summarize the entire case study and view the challenges that this industry faces in the future. So yeah, today when we see the industry of electric vehicles and when we see the history, we have come a long way. So yeah, automobiles are one of the greatest inventions of humankind. When we see the present day cars, it's surprising to see say that it all started with the invention of the wheel back in 3000 BC. Automobiles completely transformed the way people traveled. It became easier to transport heavy goods over long distances. We built the steam engines that help us carry much heavier loads over longer distances and then we started expecting more power and speed out of these vehicles. And then there was a paradigm shift in the automobile industry as we saw the advent of gasoline powered engines. In the 20th century, gasoline powered engines became an integral part of our lives and its enthusiasm spread like wildfire. Back then, gas was cheaper and refueling was much more convenient. But then, uh, humanity started facing a huge environmental impact due to the usage of gas-powered vehicles. And then, the impact that these cars had on the environment started getting out of our control. So. Recently, we have been fortunate to get into the electric car industry, which shows promise for not only a greener planet, but also a much more sustainable industry. Today, there is a lot of buzz about electric cars, but this excitement for electric cars is not new. Electric cars have been there since a very long time. And you must be surprised why electric cars did not go into uh, consumer deployment in the, his in, in the past. It was mostly because of lack in performance in the batteries and, and the, especially the weight of the battery made it unfeasible for the development of an electric cars on a commercial scale. But then we are always driven by hope and there has been no difficulty that we have not been able to overcome with our intelligence and compassion major world entities and governments started 
taking initiatives to support the use of renewable sources of energy and implied strict sanctions on industries that ha that caused harm to the environment and the major step they took was the natural acceptance of electric cars the main key behind the adoption of electric cars is spreading the awareness about the environment and marketing it to the consumers and for electric cars to be adopted in a mass scale we also have to improve the existing infrastructure of charging stations so that the electric cars can travel for longer distances moving on let's look at the concept development stage the concept development the first phase in the concept development stage is the needs analysis here we will see the need for electric cars and how they are better than the ICE cars that currently occupy most of the car market so as we see that the world is becoming more aware of the impact of internal combustion engine cars on our environment and all the com uh, entities and organize and environmental organizations have started taking serious step uh, serious steps towards a greener planet and the first step in doing so is to phase out the internal combustion engine cars slowly so how can the electric cars save our environment so electric cars are operated on batteries and the net by product of this is zero emission and there it's carbon neutral and one of the most important aspect of electric cars is their low maintenance internal combustion engines have a lot of moving mechanical parts that wear out during their use but electric vehicles on the other hand require minimal service and which is about one service every 2 years even though the cost that consumers need to pay for owning an electric vehicle is higher now study shows that in the future there will be a decline in the cost due to the decrease in value of the lithium ion batteries so we like the ic cars because of their speed and acceleration but uh, electric cars by tesla like the tesla roadster has broken the speed and acceleration records and it provides a range of 620 miles that is about 1000 kilometers on a single charge to adapt electric vehicles faster we need a strong and sustainable infrastructure to sustain the development with the evolution of fast charging technologies the time to recharge electric cars has gone down to 15 to 30 minutes even though refueling an ic car takes minutes this is very good advancement and will continue to improve the future then comes the challenges of long range travels with companies developing and setting up charging stations on highways and other pit stops 
it's much more feasible for unhindered functioning of electric cars. Moving on to the concept exploration stage. So electric cars can be categorized into four major subsystems. The first one being body design. This consists of the entire structural frame, the front and rear bumpers and the suspension. And then comes the energy source, which is comprised of the batteries and the battery charging unit. And then comes the electric propulsion. This is this consists of the electric controller, the power controller, the electric motor, the transmission system, and the wheels. And then comes the auxiliaries, which consists of the brakes, the steering wheel, the auxiliary supply, temperature control of the motor, and energy management. The battery in electric cars not only powers the electric motors and the electric drive train, but, so, but also the powers to the auxiliary accessories like the headlights, brakes, steering wheel and other onboard electronics. The charging port allows the vehicle to connect to a charging station via cables that can be magnetically attached to the electric car and be charged through induction. Some cars use motor generators that can recharge the car's batteries on braking. This is called regenerative braking. And the battery also comes equipped with sensors that can constantly check the voltage, current and the temperature and the charge left in the battery. And there are also ways of tracking the battery capacity over time. This is very important to be able to judge the range of the electric car. So the primary hurdle in the evolution of electric cars has been the battery technology. So as we know, the biggest disadvantage of the battery technology is the energy density. So the present lithium ion batteries have very less energy density. That means that uh, to have to so that uh, the battery is able to provide more energy the size and weight of the battery increases significantly and that in turn increases the weight of the car and that finally affects the performance of the car, electric vehicle In the present electric cars are also seeing an inclusion of technologies like machine learning and AR and VR. Self-driving cars have been around for quite some time now and today Tesla promises of fully self-driving cars. Though they are not fully developed, they have made a place for themselves in the future. There is research going on that will put an AR setup on the hold of the car and that could help the driver use navigations and give him extra information about the surrounding of the car while driving. The use of AI voice control assistance can help the driver control almost anything including but not limited to the temperature inside the car. He can turn on the music, open and close the window. Now moving on to the concept definition phase. Since any technology and idea brings improvement to an idea that has existed for quite some time, it is also very important to consider the existing market and develop on top of that. 
scrubbing out the pre present technologies and for the new technology is the waste is a waste of resources we can always extend the design and technologies used in existing cars and develop a much more advanced infrastructure for electric cars as electric cars have already started to show promise we can verify the fact by increase in demand for the electric cars with the increase in demand there is also a speed in production the production involves flexible accommodation to urgent changes which means that it's the production facilities today are more agile the battery prices are going down as there is more research on the battery technologies the production process is getting automated with less chance of human error and the advancement in speculative maintenance and real time analysis provides a better user experience to the consumers next we move on to the engineering development stage the engineering development stage consists of three phases the advanced development phase engineering design phase integration and evaluation phase in the advanced development phase it is important to consider the risks involved and analyze the unproven concepts in detail in the advanced development stage we do a comprehensive study on the components involved and their functionalities we also discuss the components that require improvement and develop a functional prototype and address the challenges involved with it the primary components that require improvements in an electric car are its motor and the battery today most of the companies use the brushless dc motor which has a permanent magnet rotor and a wound stator using brushless technique causes lesser loss in energy due to friction in this concept the electric winding in the wound stator is commutated electronically rather than using a brush this makes the motor lighter more durable it occupies lesser space it's more responsive and it's less prone to failure the thermal output of a brushless dc motor is very less and it's easy to cool and it also helps in developing the regenerative braking system that helps increase the range of an electric car and then comes the battery nowadays uh, present day uh, electric vehicles use lithium ion batteries but lithium ion batteries have a lot of has a lot of limitations first they do not last very long and second they require a lot of time to recharge and as i have mentioned before they have very little energy density that makes them heavier and occupy more space there are a lot of developments and research going on in the battery technology that solve specific issues one of the battery technology that involves you know, involves 
the outer frame of a car to be considered as an electrode that would reduce the space. Scientists are also working on vertically aligned carbon nanotube electrodes that would significantly increase the capacity of the battery, reduce the charging times and improve the life cycle of the battery. Researchers are also working on developing a new technology that improves the charging time of lithium ion battery by five times and also keeps a check on the temperature of the battery while charging. Then we move on to the prototype development. In which we check for other areas which have scope of improvement. Reducing the space occupied the components to allow for more space for comfortable traveling and more trunk space is very important. This can be done as explained before by reducing the size of the motor and the batteries. This will in turn also minimize the weight of the electric vehicle. And as the costs to develop other components gradually decrease, the performance of the electric car will keep on getting better. Instead of using steel, we can use aluminum and carbon fiber composite to build the structural frame. And improving the thermal output of the battery will also minimize the risk of explosions that can prove to be fatal. The weight distribution of the components can significantly improve the handling of an electric vehicle. To increase the safety, there are many areas that are seeing promising growth. The electric vehicle manufacturers are developing features that can predict a collision even before it happens using onboard cameras and computer vision technologies. Adaptive headlights can turn towards the direction where the car is turning to give a better visibility. And there is also development going on in lane change detection. Moving on to the development testing. Modern testing facilities for electric vehicles test a variety of features like the durability, the structural strength, corrosion resistance, the environmental impact, fatigue, comfort, the weather conditions at which the electric vehicle can operate, the user interface, and the dynamic impact. Now we move on to the engineering design phase. The engineering design phase consists of three parts, the reliability, maintainability and producibility. The reliability of a system is the ratio of the number of successful operations to the total number of operations. Surveys find that Mid-range electric cars are more reliable than higher value electric cars. Electric cars are generally assumed to be more reliable than IC cars as they have fewer moving parts. But that's not the case. The IC manufacturing companies, IC car manufacturing companies have a lot of experience due to which they are able to improve the efficiency of the IC cars by many times. The reason why the electric cars are not very reliable is because of the lack of experience. But they are catching up with the standards of IC cars in a, at a very fa fast pace.
moving on to the maintainability an electric car requires 10 to 15 percent less maintenance than their ic counterparts this is because of lesser loss of energy due to moving parts and the heat loss during fuel consumptions electric vehicles also have the advantage in operating costs when it comes to fuels compared to hybrid and the ic cars the electric cars are 90 percent efficient whereas the hybrid and ic cars are 30 to 50 percent efficient in talking about the producibility the objective of this system is to reduce the cost of production an automated assembly system can increase production speed and reduce the cost of manual labor the subcomponents required for building components of an electric car are standardized for easier adaptability and manufacturing in modern production facilities like the tesla giga factory aims to be completely carbon neutral in the future which will drive down the production cost significantly moving on to the integration and evaluation phase here we study the new features that are included in the design like and the environmental impact the compatibility of mass acceptance of electric car with existing infrastructure and the user interface new features that are included in modern electric vehicles are self driving cap capabilities collision avoidance system car security features and automated parking these features need to be extensively tested after integration as one system depends on the performance of the other systems reduced environmental impact is the most important thing for a growing electric vehicle industry since electric cars have zero emissions they have minimal to no impact on the environment but still the industry has to make the entire process more sustainable by providing charging stations that can be powered using solar energy there is also a need for developing an infrastructure for charging stations for long distance travel the range of the stock battery is limited and for that a well connected network of charging stations is very important now talking about the user interface modern cars have interfaces like keyless start adjustable seat temperature voice controlled interactions and revamped interiors which provide a very luxury feel to the consumer and is a big part for the user's satisfaction and then comes the post development stage which involves the production phase and the operation and support the production of an electric vehicle can be divided into two phases the one is the body shop where the exterior of the car or its body is manufactured and assembled the assembly is usually sp spread across six wash stations aluminum parts which have been prefabricated are welded and glued together and then the parts of the upper body are also glued or welded together to form the body frame 
the entire structure is then cured into a two stage oven after the previous process says the roof is attached and the entire structure is coated with sealants before it's sent off to the general assembly the general assembly consists of is, uh, is responsible for assembling the interior of the car and the components electrical components inside the car the first step is to put together the electronic components of the vehicle this includes the wirings and the power electronics which control the headlights the steering wheel the braking and other important parts post this the flooring and carpeting of the car takes place the seats the controls and the dashboard follow after the paneling at the third station the air conditioning system is set up post this the batteries are added to the vehicle and once the battery is placed the wheels and axles axles are attached to the chassis finally the alignment of the wheel is checked and everything is bolted tight in place the vehicle is then checked for squeaks and rattles on a specialized test track <coughs> tested by a quality driver and then we move on to the operation and support phase the infrastructure and operation part involves charging stations plug adaptability time to charge the charging behavior anomaly and the lack of standardization in charging costs this includes the after sales service and support in one of the latest development in after sales service and support is the inclusion of predictive maintenance that can monitor the different components of an electric car at regular intervals and predict the failure of any component in the future and this data is transferred back to the manufacturer and they can notify the owner about the problem and schedule an appointment for maintenance this also involves safety tests which are based on the iso standards and then it also involves software upgrades to wifi to upgrade the software system in the touch interaction and other software is used in the car and then comes the connectivity and the post sales service so what are the challenges that we face the first being the battery efficiency and the reliability as we have discussed before the battery efficiency or the capacity keeps de decreasing with use and there have been reports of explosion of batteries and that that makes it less reliable and causes the consumers to worry on adapting it then comes the range of electric vehicles since present day lithium ion batteries have a lower energy density they are not able to provide a long range and if they can provide a long range 
then the overall weight of the car increases and thus the performance of the car is impacted and since the cost of the battery today is very high the upfront cost to own an electric vehicle also becomes very high there is also lack of infrastructure for to enable the electric cars to move for longer distances and having a constraint on the range it is going to take some time for a, a mass adoption of electric car and as discussed before there are challenges with the drive train including the motor even though brushless dc motor is of a very high standard there can still be a lot of improvement in the motor technology now summarizing the case study the primary object of this case study was to study the electric vehicles from the perspective of systems engineering principles system engineering can help us know all the aspects of an industry and also help us direct our research and development towards a much feasible design present day electric vehicles have self driving capabilities they are breaking record speeds and one of them is even floating in space the electric drive train technology can be scaled to other vehicles in the future like the trucks and even aircrafts so that brings me to the end of this presentation i hope you enjoyed this and thank you for your time